There is nothing quite as delicious as a new Android release. I mean, with names like Ice Cream Sandwich, Kit Kat, and Marshmallow, I think anyone who isn't diabetic would be excited. And now there's a new version of Android to satisfy your craving for some sweet, sweet software. Nougat, less excitingly known as Android 7.0. But is it a big enough deal to become the creamy, satisfying center of your smartphone? Well, unlike the smaller number dot other number updates that are often little more than security patches, Nougat brings a boatload of new features. First off, it addresses one of the biggest limitations of traditional mobile user interfaces, the inability to see two things at once, something we take for granted on desktop platforms. With Nougat, though, you get a split screen mode that's reminiscent of the Snap Assist feature in Windows 10. You simply drag your thumbnails to the side of the screen to activate the feature. This will be especially useful on larger smartphones, phablets, and tablets, as you'll finally be able to make better use of all of that screen real estate in stock Android, without the janky limitations on some of the add-on ways that this has been done in the past. And speaking of doing many things at once, you can double tap the recent apps button now to switch between your two most recent apps, just like Alt-Tab, instead of fiddling around with the virtual Rolodex every time. Another tablet and phablet friendly feature is the new ability to natively adjust the size of text and UI elements on your screen. Older versions of Android kept screen elements more or less the same size, regardless of how large or small your device was. But Nougat resolves this problem by making it easy to shrink things down, if you're one of the unfortunate people who bought one of these, or enlarge them if you're rocking a tiny screen. Moving on, one of the most important functions of any modern smartphone is to push notifications for things like email, angry tweets, and reminders about your dance card of dates that might stand you up. Nougat's notification system has changed a fair bit, including the iOS-style ability to reply to things directly from the notification panel, as well as easy access to the mute button for notifications if a newly installed app just won't shut the heck up. And if you're getting multiple messages or emails, you can now expand notifications to deal with each message individually without going full screen on the app. Continuing with the theme of doing things quickly, your quick settings for Wi-Fi, removable storage, etc., now sit atop the notifications panel. And if you don't like them there, you can also customize your quick settings so it's a little bit easier to get to the things you use the most. But UI upgrades aren't the only thing that you can find in Nougat. There are also enhanced security features. The OS can now allow apps to access just one directory on your device to alleviate privacy concerns to a degree, as well as offering file level encryption instead of whole device encryption, which is helpful because older versions of Android would lock the entire phone on boot until you entered a password, meaning you wouldn't get notifications after a cold start. Nougat's file level encryption, by contrast, allows certain things to be accessible from the lock screen so you won't miss anything important after a reboot. So you throw in some additional bells and whistles, such as Vulkan API support, at least on phones that ship with Android 7.0, a low latency visual mode to help phones play more nicely with VR headsets, and a work mode that allows you to disable your job-related apps with a single toggle so you can unplug when it's time to go home, and Nougat looks like it might add some real deliciousness to your mobile device. Just don't try to coat your phone in actual chocolate. I mean, who would do that? Speaking of delicious, FreshBooks is on a mission to make freelancers' lives less stressed and more organized. And I guess if they use the extra money they make and the extra time that they save, more delicious because they could go out for a really nice meal. Okay, that was a terrible segue. Anyway, the point is they're easy to use tool for managing your accounting. If you're a small business owner, like if you're a plumber or you run a small dance studio or you do computer repair on the side is awesome. You can track your hours. You can create invoices that look professional very, very quickly. You can send the invoices. You can see when your client has read it and they can even pay you right through FreshBooks. They even allow you to accept deposits for your work through their platform so the work is paid for on your schedule.
So if all that sounds pretty good, then getting started on FreshBooks is extremely simple, even if you're not a numbers person, and you can try FreshBooks for free by going to freshbooks.com forward slash techquickie, which we have linked in the video description and entering techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching, guys. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, check out our other channels, leave a comment with video suggestions, and subscribe to Fast As Possible for more videos just like this one. Subscribe to TechWiki, sorry. It's not what the channel's called, just the only format we do on it.